Oh hey YouTube, what's really good? My name is Vivica Color, coach of the South Texas Save Lies, and this is going to be your week 6 battle for the WBE, and this week we are going up against K-Crate and the LA Spice, the uh, spiciest draft team in all of YouTube. I don't know specifically what she says after the spiciest draft team, but uh, alas, uh, they're very spicy, much spice. Um, I normally have this pulled up, but it looks like I do not because I'm not, in fact, a professional. Um, I'm going to show you, not show, I'm going to tell you uh, what K Cray has access to really quick. And then we're just going to hop into this because uh, I don't, I mean, it's not that I, I want to stop doing team builders. I've just been really strapped for time lately. Anyways, K Cray has access to Garchomp, Starmie, Magnezone, Mimikyu, Crobat, Porygon 2, Ninetales, Lilligant, Mawile, and Mega Houndoom. So just another Houndoom team that looks really good against me. Uh, if you watched last week's battle, you'll know what I mean. Um, and then I've actually made changes to my team, and I forgot to like ever do a video on that. Uh, but essentially, I got rid of Mega Sharpedo, Moltres, and do 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 something else. Barbacle recently. That one was more recent. Uh, what else did I get rid of? Alolan Sand Slash. I got rid of those four uh, Pokemon, and I picked up Poliwrath, Rapidash, Mega Agron, and Sneasel. So there you go. Um, I've used some of those already. Like, I used Mega Agron and Sneasel last... I used those last week. Uh, so if you haven't been paying attention, well, there you go. You should you should pay attention. What is uh, what is K-Cray's name on this on this device? I need to I need to find uh, K Cray. What is her name? Is it you're not Trapmaster is I think Deathly. What is your name? Um yeah, we're just uh we're doing all this live right here right now. I just got it's late. It's uh it's 1 a.m. <laughs> we're we're battling late. We're battling real late. It's 1 a.m. and this goes up tomorrow, so uh we're friends on here, right? We've battled semi recently. Refresh. No, no dice. Should just be Kaylin. Do we have each other? I don't see a Kaylin. I see a Gimu Freak, which you can only imagine is a play on Game Freak. I don't know. You know, it's late. Uh, we were, you know, we said we battled today. Uh, K Cray is nocturnal. K Kaylin is not a day creature. She is a night creature. <laughs> um, so we, I think we were like, I mean, it was never really discussed, but we just kind of planned on doing later in the day anyways. Uh, so originally I was going to go see a movie with my lovely fiance, Emily, uh, Midsummer. Uh, we were going to go see Midsummer at 7.40 p.m. my time, which is like 5.40 p.m. her time. Uh, so I would get out at around 10, her 8, and we would go then. And then... Emily fell asleep. She's been tired. <laughs> uh, still, still no young Kaylin. Oh, I see her now, but she's not online anymore. What a beating! Um, so Emily fell asleep, and we were like, "Okay, well, we can just do it whenever." And then Kay was like, "Well, I want to take a nap." <laughs> and then Emily was like, "Wait, I want to go see this movie at nine fifteen now. I'm up for my nap." And I was like, "All these, all these people taking all these naps, and I'm just here." No, I I, uh, I enjoyed the movie. I'm actually kind of haunted right now. Okay, I'll send. I, I found her. I'm actually honestly haunted right now uh, because if you've seen Hereditary, uh, it's a it's a really it's a really intimidating movie. <laughs> it's it's really I think very terrifying. And this is done. I think it's the director Ari Ari Aster um, is the one who you know he directed Hereditary. I think he's the director. Um, he's, he has a hand in creating it. I can tell you that much. Um, and, uh, I think he's the director. Now I'm going to Google it really quick. We're supposed to be talking about Pokemon, but honestly, uh, I'm just trying to have fun. I think, I feel like I've been getting too worked up about this. Yeah, he's the director. Um, and I, Kay was asking me, you know, like, how was the movie? And I was like, well, it's really good. Ari Aster is probably a very troubled human, but he makes incredible horror films. Um, so if you've seen Hereditary, it's sort of like his, it's not a sequel, but it's like the follow-up to that, you know, like the sophomore, I don't know if it's the second movie ever, uh, but it's the second movie in that vein, if that makes sense. Like, it's the second movie he's created that is in that genre, and it's it's actually just incredibly unsettling. So uh, that's, that's what's on my mind. <laughs> and, you know, 
Uh, we're here to play Pokemon. This is the team I'm bringing. We got a Subtoxic Rapidash, a Life Orb Nitto King that we can hopefully break with with a Scarf Web Scalvantula. Uh, Life Orb, super offensive. Uh, Sneasel breaks a lot on our team. Rock Polish Mega Agron and like a bulky Rocks, uh, Earth Powering, Ice Beaming, Roosting Mew. There you go. No removal, uh, because hopefully I can make her have removal. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Good luck. Okay. Have fun. This battle is going to be a lot about positioning for me. I was really stressed out about it to begin with, uh, but I think I've decided not to do that anymore. Not to get super worked up about these things uh, because I'm just here for the fun. And I, you know, of course I want to make playoffs. I have a, I'm, you know, taking my blanket off casually. I have a, a history to uphold of never missing playoffs, uh, you know, so far. And um, I would like to, to keep that going. Let me adjust here really quickly. I need to sit more comfortably. So, uh, yeah, so I've never missed playoffs. I'm not I'm not trying to. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of dim. I feel like I'm kind of dim. I'm going to maybe, I might make my face cam too bright here. Uh, but, you know, we're just here to have a good time. And I, I know that you all want to see my bright and lovely face. That might be too bright. There's not really a happy medium with me because I'm incredibly white. That rhymes. Uh, okay, so again, this uh, matchup is going to be all about positioning. This is, wow, the exact same team I faced earlier in a mock battle. Um, like the exact, exact same team. I did one mock battle for this. <laughs> Un. <laughs> Un mock. Um, so, what lead looks great here? That is the question. Actually, let's lead with uh, Galvantula. I no, this isn't. Yeah, it is. It has a Starmie on it. So no Porygon two is kind of wild. Mega Houndoom. So this entire team gets broken down by uh, Nitto King if Webs are up. I'm not gonna click Webs on turn one, most likely, uh, just because it's probably not worth it to just let this thing die. That would be my first guess is that it is not worth it to just let this poor, poor, beautiful spider die. Um, I'm probably just going to click Volt Switch on turn one. Um, I don't know. I could always, you know, read the play into Garchomp. Uh, but I'm kind of predicting a Crobat lead here. If it is Garchomp lead, do we live in Earthquake from just... I'm going to assume no. <laughs> Uh, not ever. Just because Galvantula is a frail, frail boy. Aragog, if you will, is a frail creature. So I have to have webs up. So if K leads Garchomp, I probably just have to switch out. Probably. Garchomp's a solid lead here, and rocks are really good against my team. I can't tell why. I should have snipped her team. What's wrong with me? Why am I so bad at this game? All right, let's keep our eyes open. Morticia. Okay. So this is actually pretty cool for me. Um, because I think she's probably just going to click U-turn. Uh, oh, no. I shouldn't click the snipping tool yet. Let's see. Let's pull this up first. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's my stupid... There we go. All right. Let's go over here. Let's snip the team. Bada boom, bada bing. All right. We did the thing. All right, cool. All right, all right. So I think I just clicked Volt Switch here. I could go for the Thunder. I could go for the HP Ice. I think I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch here. Let's do it. I think we're going to catch her off guard. We did. She knows we are Scarf now. I could have just eliminated this thing from my life. Uh, I'm going to predict a U-turn, which gives her momentum, but, 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 uh, more specifically, um, I don't know. I ran out of things to say there. It gives her momentum. Yeah, yeah. I could have just clicked Thunder and taken this thing out, which is a little upsetting. I should have gone into Mew maybe and just got up rocks. Uh, Cause that looks like it might be just dead to switching into rocks again. Uh, the U-turn on turn one play, you say? This is an interesting switch. Cause what if I was just, uh, does this mean she's scarfed? Hmm. If scarfed, I still die to the EQ. He says not super thrilled about his situation. Um, I can go for a toxic. I can go for a sub. I can go for a sub on a predicted rocks and then go for a toxic. That seems fine. 
Even sub on like Sword Stance here I think is fine. Uh, but if Scarf, this is a really bad play. I mean, I, not really. Rapidash doesn't do much here. And then it would reveal Scarf and I would just get Initiative, which is pretty good for me. So I'm about this line. Um, sub on the Predicted Rocks is fine because I can always just go uh, sub Toxic. And that seems like a strong line. A strong line to play towards. So let's let's go here. I need to get my uh, Galvantula in again at some point and set up uh, set up webs. It's kind of what this entire match is predicated on. <laughs> uh, the Crobat's really really weakened, which is good. That's good for me. Um, I probably should have just gone out into Mew, right? I can always nah, that's bad because that just lets it the Houndoom in. I really don't want the Houndoom in until I have webs up. Like I don't want to let it in for free at least. Uh, rocks or sword stance here would be the goal. Stomping tantrum. Oh. Okay. Do I lose that? All right. So not scarf. We don't see any item. Let's see what is. I probably live that right. Like I'm pretty fat. Uh, rapid ash. No, we die. <laughs> Who am I? All right. Uh, so the stomping tantrum sends me out into Mew here, and then Mew should eat this pretty well, and then I can just get up my rocks. I guess is the play. Yeah. It's unlikely that she stays in here. Uh, how much does an outrage do to me? Like, do I live it? Yeah, yeah, we live in. All right, so I probably just get up my rocks. Um, I have to imagine this is going to be a switch, right? Like, I mean, she knows I'm lefties. Could be Yachi Berry, though. Yachi Berry would be strong here. Uh, just because that's presumably my best way to break down Garchomp is just ice type, ice type spam attacks. I can't really, can't really speak all that well. Um, so the play here is just to set up rocks and then go from there. I could have predicted the Houndoom to switch in and just gone for Earth Power. How much would this do to like just a Houndoom? It'd be a, like, a, I guess a kind of a bold switch. Uh, it would live. But then we could eat a Dark Pulse, presumably from the Mega Hounds. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. I think I'm lying on that one. I think I'm vastly a liar here. Uh, this has just got to be the Houndoom, right? Oh, no. Starmie. Interesting. Hmm. I don't have a switch into this thing, he says hesitantly. Do I? I, I took the Noivern off my team kind of last minute. Uh, I could predict webs here. Which I don't think is super fantastic. Not webs. Uh, rapid spin here. Um, I mean, this thing can't do a ton to me, right? It, do I lose anything from just clicking roost? I would assume not, so I'm going to do that. She might just go for toxic. I outspeed, which is interesting. Trick room? Toxic. It's just a slow Starmie. Like a really slow Starmie. Interesting. I think I'm fine with this exchange. Uh, I think I am okay to just predict rapid spin here, right? Like, it's definitely just a rapid spin Starmie. If I'm okay to predict rapid spin, I think I can go out into my Sneasel. This is a super ballsy play. Um, very ballsy. Okay. Panned out <laughs> is what the kids say. All right, so no more rocks is fine. I'm assuming this is natural cure, Starmie. Uh, I am just going to go for the knockoff here. We haven't seen an item, so could be... I'm still going to just go for the knock. Could be Culverberry. Because uh, we don't see lefties, and presumably she's bulky. Just the withdraw. Into this has got to be the... Yeah, this guy. 
Alright, so how much does low kick do to you? Because again, we're in a predicament where I don't super have a great switch into this thing. My team just doesn't switch into this guy. Interesting. Low kick would do 54 to 64% if uninvested. I can assume a fire blast is coming my way. Uh, I guess I can just go out into my shadow mirror here uh, and click toxic. Seems like a good play. I'll make it. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, if she goes for a dark type attack, she kind of calls my bluff here, but uh, this stops her from just going for like fire spam. A nasty plot here would be gross. Uh, would be particularly egregious. Um, because then I'm like banking on winning a speed tie with Sneasel or killing with Galvantula. No, Galvantula doesn't kill from this range. I probs should have just gone, instead of knockoff, I should have just gone for low kick. Because two low kicks would take this thing out. Oh, did I even gauge damage? Uh, knockoff to just a normal Houndoom. I don't know if Houndoom adds any substantial bulk when it Megas. Uh, oh yeah, this is a little bit of a bulkier boy. Oh, well, no, not really. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to, un unclear. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Uh, fire type attack. Dark Pulse. Went for the hard Dark Pulse. I see you, Kay. I see you. Very smart. Very wise. Very good play. <laughs> uh, I die to another Dark Pulse, which is super unfortunate. The Porygon 2 is not around, though. So, I... Hmm. That was a good play. That was a good play. What is my line here? Galvantula takes one Dark Pulse. Right? Galvantula takes one Dark Pulse. Um, I can click Volt Switch. This is a tough situation to be in. I think... Mm, yeah, this is a tough situation. I'm gonna... I'm gonna spot. <laughs> I'm in what I would consider a spot. I'm gonna have to sacrifice, like, three things to this guy. Alright, 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 alright. Uh... I think the play... Alright. Honestly, I think I just have to click Toxic, uh, sacrifice the Rapid Ash. Yeah, she makes the play, goes for Dark Pulse. Um, I'm gonna go out into my spider here. She knows I'm Scarfed, so does she just make the read and go out into Garchomp here? I'm not super behind, so it feels like I can't just sit and make uh, too aggressive of plays. If I'm predicting her to go out in a Garchomp, don't I just set up webs? I think so. Please switch. Make the switch out in a Garchomp. I'm going to set up webs. If she switches out, I mean, this gets me webs either way, uh, but it might not matter. <laughs> Like, it, it just might not matter, because then I'm, like, kind of locked into I have to kill this thing by sacrificing Mew and Sneasel, potentially. Please switch out into Garchomp, or something. Garchomp or something. The Dark Pulse play was really smart. Oh, my God. This didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. All right, well, this thing's super dead. So now I probably just lose the game, question mark, exclamation point. All right, so I got into Mew here. 
I click Earth Power. I can't get flinched. If I get flinched, I lose the game. Okay. It's a good damage. It's a crit. I think that matters. I think that crit probably matters. Uh, because I think my Sneasel can probably take this thing out with uh, Ice Shard now. Can I make the... I, I don't think I can make the switch. Uh, is there anything else I'd rather sack off here? No, probably not. Okay, so I guess my play here has to be just sack off the Mew. Like, I just don't have much else going on. I, I can click, mm, I just have to, I have to sack off the Mew. So you guys for Flamethrower on the predicted Sneasel switch in, like me trying to preserve Mew, I get super caught. Mm, Could have switched into Sneasel. Probably should have pulled the trigger on that one, but it's okay. All right, so Ice Shard kills this thing. I shouldn't even have to risk the speed tie. Uh, Ice Shard kills, and then where does that leave me? I have to break down the Magneton. Oh, she still has her Mimikyu in the back too. Oof. Yeah, this game's not gonna be, not gonna be an easy one to, to win. It's not gonna be easy to win from the spot. I probably should have Volt switched. With the Galvantula. I should have Volt switched. 100%. Should have, should have Volt switched like every single time, dude. This has to kill or I'm just out of this game. All right, cool. All right, so we're not getting 6 0 at a bare minimum. <laughs> at a bare minimum, we're not getting 6 0 Um. I don't know, like, if she switches in the Mimikyu here, I think I just knock, honestly. Uh, the Houndoom being dead bodes well for me. Like, bodes pretty well for me, honestly. What if this Magnazone is Scarfed? How fast do you get? Uh, you hit 184, which is exactly one point faster than Sneasel. <laughs> I think I still have to keep Sneasel around to sort of like keep the Starmie in check. Yeah, it's going to be a hard game to win. I have I have webs up, so K can't switch in the Starmie now. Um, there is a world where Nitto King just wins the rest of the game for me. Like where Nitto King just gets a million kills. Like that world exists. I don't know how we get there from here, uh, but that world definitely exists. Mimic Cutie. So uh, this puts me in a little bit of a predicament, but I think I honestly think I just have to, I can't just break Sash, can I? I don't think I can. I think I have to go out into uh, Agron here and just like click Rock Polish. Because I still need to be able to break the Starmie is the problem. All right, so this will do two damage. Uh, I am going to fight Mega Evolve and Rock Polish. Going into Starmie, yeah. I think this is like a pretty obvious rapid spin, but I don't know that I can do anything about it at this point. If I was Thunder Punch here, it'd be the GOAT play. It's okay, Nidoking still has legs here though, for sure. Like Nidoking definitely still has legs. All right, so this turn I have to Earthquake. 
I don't think this is never going to kill. Yeah, the rapid spin uh, does a lot here, honestly. Did that even do a damage? <laughs> Uh, can I Earthquake again? Or will a Heavy Slam kill this thing from this range? Agron. Starmie. I mean, this thing's done its part, right? Like, there's no way. It's... <sighs> earthquake did... Hmm... All right, go to Starmie and look up a bulky spinner set. I think Heavy Slam kills from this range, like, every time. Uh, I mean, it doesn't super matter. Like, whatever she switches into, I can just hit it with a super effective attack. The problem I have right now is that she has a lot of pieces left. Um, like, this Magnezone could very easily be, like, I don't know, sturdy specs or something like that. Uh, it could be Scarfed. Well, Scarfed, I think I still at speed. Yeah, I definitely had speed Scarfed. But it could be sturdy, I guess is the point, instead of, uh, the Steel Trapping Magnet Pool. Uh, I probably should have gone for Heavy Slam here. Um, if Mimikyu has Will-O-Wisp, like, if it's, like, a, a wispy, a wispy set, that's really good. Yeah, there's no point in going for Heavy Slam here. I'm predicting a switch out into the Magnezone after this one. Uh, if the Magnezone is n not, I need to, I, I need to pay attention when it comes out, because if it's Air Balloon, I'll have to go for, like, the Heavy Slam first, obviously. Uh, what is this? I just kill this thing, right? Like, is this thing scarfed? I guess if this thing is like scarf, hyper fang, super fang, whichever fang, uh, that's a line. If this thing is like scarf, hyper fang, then that's pretty solid. Um, if not, then we just kind of get to claim a soul here. Uh, which would start to lead me to believe that she may not have a check to this. Okay, so it's not Scarf, and this thing definitely dies here. 100% of the time. Okay. Uh, so where to go from here? Like, what is your line next? <laughs> if I can take care of the Garchomp, honestly. Like, I want the Garchomp to die. Because <laughs> if the Garchomp dies... Uh, that puts me in a situation where Nitto King can still potentially win. Because the Starmie's gone. Yeah, yeah. If Garchomp dies, then I can still win with Nitto King. For sure. Like, Nitto King's slower than the Mimikyu. What is this thing? So, I'm presuming that this is going to be a bulky set. Uh, but two Ice Punches should always take this thing out. No Yachi Berry. Oh, uh, singular. I think the crit probably mattered there. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the crit definitely mattered there. Which makes me feel not great. Uh, that definitely makes me not feel great. But is the Rock Polish Mega Agron going to come through with the Reverse 6-0? I'm going to go on a limb and say the Magneton or the Magnezone is not sturdy. It feels like that would have been the immediate switch in, if so. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's not sturdy, then it looks like EQ, Heavy Slam, Heavy Slam wins this game. Also, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume the Mimikyu is not... Uh, the Mimikyu is not Willow, because that also would have been a clean switch into this. With the Garchomp gone, I think Nidoking can also win this game for me, to be honest. Uh, the Magnezone could be Scarfed. Why, well, Outspeed didn't kill it, though. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to find out. We're going to see. We're going we're gonna to see what happens here. We click Heavy Slam. Um, we've taken a lot of residual damage. Was it uh, Rocky Helmet Roughskin? Was that what happened? 
I took a million damage from that, so I'm assuming it was Rocky Helmet Rough Skin. Uh, but we should be able to live, like, a Drain Punch, which I think is probably the only thing she can go for here. That makes sense. So we're going to break the skies. The sky is broken. Shadow Claw. I was going to say it should do two. All right. Heavy Slam. Did the Agron pull off the reverse 6-0? She's, what if she's like disguise focus sash? I don't think it matters, but okay. All right, we've got one more obstacle, boys. <laughs> one. And if it's a choice barrier, it can't lock into an electric type move because the Nidoking King just uh, ruins it. Auto Zone is the best nickname I've ever seen for a Magna Zone. Did we get there? Earthquake. I wasn't paying attention to see if it had an air balloon. Ugh. Please don't have an air balloon and make me look like an idiot. Please, one time. What if it has a balloon? Then it's slow and Nidoking King just kills it. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, no. I pop the balloon with Sneasel and then Nidoking King kills it. Okay. Did we just initiate the punt sequence? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I feel really bad now. I feel really stupid. Because uh, I wasn't paying attention to see what the item was when it came out. Okay. No balloon. Sturdy? Anything. Oh my goodness! The, ah, the rock polish! I can't believe this worked! <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attribute this to me being particularly uh, scared by watching Midsummer because I felt very cautious going into this. Oh man, listen. Um, if you haven't been watching Cake Race Battles, she's been doing really fantastically this season and you should honestly be paying more attention to her um, because I know like she used to get comments um, before, like I think she posted this video and it was like, uh, PokeTubers respond to mean comments. And I'm assuming that this comment was uh, directed on one of her league videos where it said, she's horrible, but she's gorgeous. Um, Deadass, like, Kay's actually just gotten a ton better, and you should honestly watch her. Great battle, Kay. Um, fantastic. Definitely go check her side out. This takes us to three and three, and I think puts our differential at plus eight. Three and three with a differential at plus eight. I don't know. Next week, we play Deathly, coach of the Tennessee Trebbish. Um, so definitely check in on that one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a team builder. If I do, I guess it'll be after or before this, and you've either already seen it or you're about to see it. Uh, but yeah, definitely go check out Kay. I'll leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know, you know, where I misplayed. I think I definitely made some errors that could have potentially cost me the game. Um, honestly, like, I'm really glad Kay went for Rapid Spin. It was kind of like a hard situation because she probably didn't expect a Rock Polish uh, Mega Agron. So it's probably honestly like a little bit of a difficult situation to be in anyways because uh, with webs up, Nitto King probably just wins the game from there based on like what I saw from her sets. Um, and without webs up, it, I guess the Mega Agron just won, which is kind of crazy. Um, anyways, yeah. Go check out K. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter. Um, also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram link's in the description down below. I kind of want to hit 1,000 Instagram followers just for the lulls of it. So if you're one of the, like, one to 2,000 people that watches this video uh, on uh, tomorrow, Saturday, when it goes up, uh, follow me on Instagram. 2,000 people don't watch it the first day. If you're one of the, like, 900 people that watch it in the first day or the 1,100 people that watch it in the following week, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, links in the description down below. I'm going to start posting there more because it's a cool creative outlet and I need to be more creative of a human. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, uh, you know, follow me through my WBE season. I should be posting some new content soon. I, I say that all the time. I want to start cutting up Twitch streams. I want to start posting more graphics videos. If you haven't seen my free graphic video, it's on my channel. Um, yeah. Also, the WB has t-shirts. I need to just start promoting that because I haven't done that. I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about before we go? I feel like I haven't, you know, had a good 
heart to heart uh, with anyone in a hot second. No? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, the movie was good though. Okay, uh, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. I, I always reiterate my outro 17 times because I feel like you know the more I talk, uh, the the more the less people listen. <laughs> okay, uh, really though, follow me on my socials. Love you. I'm kind of done here. I gotta leave. Bye. So